Kids, when your parents tell you to turn the lights out every night before you come to bed, because they always come in and out late, this is what happens. This is what happens when you do not listen. Nightmares happen. Gross. What's going on folks? It's hot, it's muggy, it's early August, and uh, we've been fishing pretty hard. Uh, so in this video, I'm just gonna kinda explain to you why I use what I use on the boat. Uh, what I use on the boat currently right now is a Simrad unit, which is made by Lawrence. They're in cahoots together, if you don't know. Uh, and uh, other folks might be using a Garmin unit. Um, I use those units still on the boat because they have sonar. That's it. I don't do any of my GPS files. I don't do any of my charting. I don't do any of my uh, my prep or planning. I don't do anything on that unit other than find fish. That's what it's for. It's got awesome features like side scan sonar. It's got down scan. It's got all this crazy crap. I got active targeting on it now, which is live underwater, kind of like an ultrasound. You actually see the fish moving around you, but you have to kind of point it. Um, all kinds of crazy features like that uh, to find the fish underwater. Um, but it basically comes down to processing speed. Those devices, Lawrence, Simrad, and Garmin, are generations behind in performance under these iPhones and iPads and all these other tablets out there. I mean, it is not even a comparison. And a lot of the issues you see... The, a lot of the issues that I have out in the water with the with that unit, even just finding fish, is crashes, uh, lag time. Uh, it, it's it all comes down to performance. Uh, it just can't handle anything. It's kind of embarrassing. It's like using a old Texas Instrument computer if you're old enough to know what those were. Um, but I bring an iPad and I bring my iPhone. My iPhone's mounted in front of me on the boat. It's like I would be in a car. Uh, it kind of does my everything, my texting, my messaging, my checking tides, all that good stuff. Whereas my iPad's mounted up high, and that is handling all my GPS files. I have GPS files. I have a GPS file that I imported, and I'll show you who I got it from. I'll put it down in the, uh, the link. Uh, but they basically provide all the uh, captain notes of all your air, different areas. You can take the file and import it in your GPS. Of all the fishing spots, all the updates, everything. That file is so large. Uh, because I, I downloaded a section of North Carolina, South Carolina, and uh, Virginia coastline and inland. Uh, you, if you tried to load that onto that Simrad, I have the fastest Simrad. I have an Evo, uh, uh, Evo 3S. Or, yeah, Evo 3S. They're kind of doing the same thing as Apple. They did the Evo 3, and then they did the 3S, I believe. I'll put it in the description but that is the fastest unit you could possibly buy right now from Simrad and it is fast but it does not compare at all to an iPhone or iPad uh, I can't if I tried to load uh, this GPS file into that unit it would catch on fire blow up die on the spot I couldn't handle it um, so I handle all my navigation on my iPad when I'm out in the water I uh, track record a lot to record where uh, we've been, if we're trolling, to get my trolling marks in there. I got all my hot spots on there marked. I got all my tracks uh, going in and out of inlets. It's pretty hairy out here uh, in North Carolina. In the Carolinas, the inlets are constantly changing. So I have my, my tracks that I build up going in and out of the inlet safely so I don't run aground. 
Um, but that's what it is, folks. It basically comes down to, just like in the cars, just like in uh, running off-road, it comes down to performance. Those units uh, could benefit greatly from a performance boost. I mean, they need to skip ahead a decade uh, to even be comparable, uh, but then it might not make sense for them as a business, uh, whereas a smartphone and iPad we use every day and they're selling, you know, I don't even know, millions more of these units, probably billions. I, I don't even know. I don't even know how many iPhones and iPads are out there, but it's a lot more than Lawrence's and Simrad. So yes, these things can afford to be faster. If there comes a day where I can actually hook a transducer, you know, the thing underwater finding fish, your little sonar, if I could connect that to an iPad or iPhone, that thing would be gone in a heartbeat. It wouldn't even be a question. Um, it would serve no value. I'd mount two iPads right on the dash and I'd be good to go. That's it, folks. Uh, that's why I still take my Simrad on the boat for finding fish underwater with sonar. And I take my iPad and my phone to do everything else. Looking at tides, looking at uh, weather, looking at uh, radar, looking at, uh, you know, the uh, wave heights, wavelengths, planning, my notes, uh, my phone calls, uh, my iPhone is connected to the Iridium Go hotspot, so I have communication and messaging and calling and, and SOS. I have everything on my iPhone uh, when I'm out in the water, and my display on my dash, my SimRed unit, all it's doing is running all the transducers and finding fish underwater.